So honestly, this is just an excuse for me to try uploading with my GoPro, but anyways, let me tell you why it's hard to hear in four dimensions. So just follow along. This is gonna be an audio only explanation. So when we talk in the three dimensional world, like I am right now, there are sound waves propagating from my mouth, right? So I'm speaking and there's a sphere in some sense. It's more directed uh, to be honest. I'm talking this way, so it's more of a cone. But think about it like there's an audio source, like a speaker, it's playing. There's a sphere of sound coming out of it, okay? And uh, the way we hear is our ear, our eardrum, catches part of that wave, part of that sphere that comes outwards, okay? So do you have that image in your head? Good. Now, the energy in that sound wave, how much information is being sent, at what volume, all this, that is a square. Not like the shape, but it is a to the power of two thing. Why? Because the sound coming out of your mouth is a sphere. The surface area of that sphere is something like four, something like four thirds pi r squared, whatever the equation is. In other words, in a three dimensional world, the energy comes out as a r squared, right? It comes out as the surface area of a sphere. If you live in a two dimensional world, energy propagate like the ripple of water, it comes out like a circle. So in two dimensional world, uh, we get a circle. We know the energy of that is its uh, perimeter, which is uh, just pi, two pi r, right? So it's now a one dimensional thing. Uh, so you're seeing this pattern, right? In a two dimensional world, we get two pi r energies in a one dimensional thing. In a three-dimensional world, like we're in, uh, we have spheres coming out. Um, so energy comes out as a uh, square. Now in a four-dimensional world, uh, you can imagine that energy comes out in not a uh, sphere, but in a four sphere, like a four-dimensional sphere. Uh, we know that the surface area of that will follow the same pattern. I'm not gonna tell you what the equation is here. You can do the integral. Uh, but it's gonna be r to the power of three. Um, and basically what this means is as you keep going up dimensions, the um, energy is being spread across more and more dimensions, right? So we at first we had a circle, now we have a sphere, like the energy is being more and more distributed. So as you go up dimensions, uh, the amount of space the sound can go to increases, which means that any single point where you're trying to hear, you're getting less of that energy. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm saying there's more room for the sound to travel in some sense. So it's very easy uh, when the sound's directed at you dimensionally. But if there's like a fourth dimension for the sound to go into, you got a problem, okay?